And I was wondering what the brand name was going to be so people wouldn't freak out. But digital cash, what are your high level thoughts, good, bad or otherwise right now? For me, one thing, it's simply what we've got today called electronic payments. I tap my phone, it happens, but it's anonymous. The okay. only difference yeah. of, of real substance, when you've got a secure banking system where banks aren't going under, the Reserve Bank can provide that facility in the form of a digital sort of currency. But, you know, there's no sort of, it's all about anonymity, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly, slightly, slightly different on that. Um, I, look, I, I like it. I, I, I think it allows for a more decentralized sort of payment system that's not reliant on the same network infrastructures that we've got today because it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't have to pass through the traditional bank rails. You know, it's, it's going to operate off the back of a lot of technology that's obviously built, being built in the crypto space. So I think, I think it's a really positive thing. I think it will create um, significant innovation. Um, and I think, you know, like, so I, I'm really positive on it. And I think that there's, there's some pretty significant consumer benefits as well, um, just in terms of, um, uh, I'm going to say UX, um, the ability to more tightly tie the actual payment to the thing that you're doing. And I, I can give you an example of it that I experienced in China when I was there recently. Um, you know, uh, theirs isn't a digital currency, but they, they obviously haven't got traditional um, sort of payment rails over there. So, um, you know, you've got we, we pay and, and uh, Alipay and they, they use QR codes as a mechanism to, you know, facilitate what would traditionally happen for us over an FBOS network. But, you know, what was really cool was I was walking past a poster of a DJ that was, they had a gig on that night. They had a QR code on it and I could click the QR code on my phone bring up a ticket and pay for it and have the whole experience totally um, wrapped up in, a, in, a, in that single transaction of, hey, what's this? I'm keen to go, done. And, uh, you know, if you think about how that would work for us, um, you know, uh, through an FPOS network, yeah, sure, you can do something similar, but it, it's got a lot more friction in the process. Yeah, so, the, pro the pro one of the problems is that, that the current system isn't real time. 